A hot air balloon covered in messages of hope and resilience has taken to the skies over the city. The Love Letter to Melbourne balloon was crowdfunded during last year's long lockdown and 10 News First was invited on its maiden flight. For most of 2020, these magnificent flying machines were grounded. With no tourists and a long lockdown, the ballooning industry stopped. But now... The future is bright. Now's the fun bit. Now we get to uh, share the love. The love letter to Melbourne Balloon, crowdfunded during the city's long lockdown, took off for the first time this morning. It's covered in messages of hope and resilience submitted by donors from across Australia and the world. We got to have a little panel on there, so we're really, really chuffed to be able to be a part of this experience. And up here, the world's troubles seem to disappear. What a difference a year makes. This time last year, Melbourne was in its first lockdown. Now the city is COVID-free as the balloon born of hope for a brighter future flies above it. And I like to think that uh, balloon are like frogs in your pond. It's a good sign of the ecology. But while the Yarra Valley-based balloon company is in the skies again, it'll be a long road back to the heights it once reached. As we continue into uh, this new world of uncertainty, uh, it's nice to sort of have a symbol uh, of this unity that we've had. And they hope people who can't be in it can at least admire it from below. And we've had a lot of feedback of how happy people are to see the balloons back in the sky. So we would hope that that signifies that people are returning to normal. And if you do find yourself in a hot air balloon, I hope your landing is more graceful than this one. <laughs> Candace Wyatt. We are Melbourne! Yay! For 10 News First.